like it's nice seeing that it's possible to make these amounts of money in a very short amount of time. Like I can make my year salary yes. on my job in three weeks. Like that's very yes. nice to know. But I think the biggest thing for me is the fact that it works. So how's it been, man? How you been doing? Doing good. Doing real good. Uh, yeah, seriously. As long as I don't deviate from 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 mobile uh -huh. homes, because there's too many things coming at me. Like, you know, people are like, well, what about this? And what about this house? Or if we knock yeah. down this, we can build up some new like townhome things. Yeah, and I'm, yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. like, no, get out of here. I just want <laughs> to stay with my mobile. <laughs> like, yeah, I got I learned my lesson too many times <laughs> yeah, man. doing things I didn't know what to do. And I got slapped for this, it. This business, man, you, you can be extremely creative, bro. Oh, oh my goodness. In the good ways and the bad ways though, right? Or <laughs> no, in the very good ways. You can just I mean, you know, there's no really there's no rain on us. We have no, you know, nobody we're kind of freelancers, man. Oh, we can do what we you know. Yeah, it, it kind of goes into like a, a big thing that you talk about during your modules is basically like understanding how to structure the deals and then just providing value to these people. You know, it's not just about like making a sale, but actually finding out like, you know, what do you need? Yeah. And that might not always end in a deal. It might just end in a good relationship that eventually might turn into a deal. You're right. Yeah. It's funny that Wayne said that I, I I'm heading I'm heading to see him today. Actually, after we get off this oh, podcast. Nice. And uh, I found a situation with a park out there where they just the the, the management is just terrible. The, the complaints they they've gone to this they've gone to the town to because they're not doing the proper uh, repairs for the for the homes. They're not you know they're just it's just a bad management group, and they reported them to the uh, I guess to the news. So I, I'm going out. I'm going out there. I want to see what's going on. <laughs> Did they call you for help? No. Okay. I, I just I just happen to look up the park, you know. I, when I do, I look up the park, I look at the ratings, and then I look at the. Uh, I always go through to see the comments, and that that was in the comments. So I just kind of <laughs> strolled down further and saw all this mayhem going on. So I'm interested. I want to see what's happening out there. I wonder if it's real mayhem or if it's just my lot rent's gone up. Yeah. No, no, no. This is like maintenance issues. It, like they feel threatened by the management, like they're being bullied into contracts, the signing, mm -hmm. uh, you know, lease to rent contracts that that they, you know, they're, they're just being bullied. If they, they complain about certain things, they're getting eviction notices. So stuff like that. They probably are. I mean, they probably yeah, they are, are getting bullied. They are getting bullied. We can, you know, that's a good segue. We're all talking here. This is the podcast. Is the, uh, have you ever felt bullied in your, in your few, you know, how long in the couple, has it been a year now since you've been mobile home investing? Uh, we started doing it in February. Okay. Yeah, February. It's just started okay. February, so not even a year yet. Not even a year. Have you felt you've been bullied or, or tried to, these parks have tried to take advantage of you already? Uh, no. For me, no. Okay. No. Me okay. either. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Okay. Well, Not yet. give yourself some time. Thank <laughs> you so much for hopping on this podcast. This is awesome. I'm already talking with Wayne and Wayne. Uh, if you would give me a little bit about yourselves real quick. How uh, before mobile homes and then why mobile homes? Uh, Pops, you want to go first? You want me to? You go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, um, I'm Wayne Jr. <laughs> uh, so before I decided to start doing mobile homes, uh, I really started like my journey into entrepreneurship and real estate when I was 15. Um, I started, I, I learned about tax liens and tax deeds, and I started getting pretty heavy into learning about that, learning how to acquire properties through, you know, paying people's taxes and then, you know, acquiring them at auctions. Um, Ran into a lot of obstacles uh, trying to go that way. Um, and then eventually I started to try to go the traditional route. And then, you know, another problem I started having was either, you know, the there was capital issues or there was credit issues. Um, and I just found it was very difficult to 
enter into the world of real estate investment if uh, with all these like hurdles and stuff. Um, I'm a conservationist and a forester by trade, so that's currently what I do. Um, and you know, I've been traveling around the country uh, doing this kind of work, and then I started finding that there was other needs for affordable housing in different places. And you know, as I made my way here, I remember I was um, I was watching a podcast um, that I get a lot of like you know financial education from. And there was two folks that came on my, on that podcast and they were talking about mobile home investing and how they got into that. And they started explaining the difference between, you know, um, private property and, you know, real property and how, you know, this process goes of, you know, investing in mobile homes, researching it and all that stuff. And I was like, huh, that, that sounds a lot easier than all the different ways I've been trying um, so I started looking up on YouTube and John, you're, you just like populate, <laughs> you type in mobile homes and John Fedro is going to pop up everywhere. <laughs> so, uh, I started really diving deep into your videos, listening to what you were saying, listening to the process that you were talking about. And I was like, you know what, this seems the most doable entry into the real estate market that I've ever come across. So, you know. I um I spoke with you a little bit and then I spoke with my pops and I spoke with my brother and I told them I'm like, yo, this is this is gonna be the entry point for us to get into real estate and you know ask them to partner with us with me. And um yeah, that started in February of this year. And uh yeah, we've been just blazing our way. This most of the like I'd say the first six to seven months have just been education 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 and outreach and that was like the first like big move that we did before we even started getting any kind of deals wayne i did not know that about uh you've been interested in real estate since 15 yeah is that from uh is that from dad or is that for like, that's crazy. What a nerd, what a kid that's like getting, we're doing these tax lien sales. They should be out playing sports and you're just geeking away at these, like trying, I mean, 15, like, I don't know. That's crazy. That, yeah. that, that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, well, someone that, um, had, someone was losing their home that I knew, um, and they wind up losing their home and I found out it was, you know, they, they lost their home from the property tax. It wasn't like the back mortgage or utilities or anything, but the home was lost due to the property tax. And I was like, I was like, how is that a thing? Like, I gotta look into this. And yes. um, that's how I found out that you can purchase people's properties if, they, if they're they really, really late on their back taxes. And the county's just like, I just, I'll sell you the home for whatever they owe in back taxes or whatever the highest auction is. And that's how I found out about that as a teenager. Man, that's the real stuff to learn. I'm like learning about Bigfoot or Bermuda Triangle, <laughs> and you're actually learning like real horror, like <laughs> stuff that happens. Oh man! Oh man! Oh, uh, Wayne Senior, did you? What was your thought about mobile homes when you first heard that? Or were you all? Uh, I wasn't gonna get involved at all. <laughs> Didn't want no part of it, man. I'm like, you know. Again, Wayne and I both were, we went to a tax lien seminar. Uh, I had paid, I had went up and uh, went into the seminar and, and I called him. I, I said, hey, man, I paid for it. I had, I can have a guess. Let's go check it out. So he, you know, we talked to all these people up here and um, I, in the beginning, it was exciting, but as you got into it, it, it was a little, it was just difficult to do to, for me, um, got into this and met you started, started going through your modules and it just simplified everything for me. Um, and I'm like, man, let's do this. Let's, let's, let's get, I'm, I'm a, I'm more of a people person anyway. So I'm kind of the liaison when it comes to meeting folks, talking to folks, you know, they, they, they put me out in the field because <laughs> they, they know I like to run my mouth. So uh, let's take, let's use it for it for the advantage of this business. Right. And uh, you know, it's, it's, it's been, ex it's been exciting, man. I mean, I, I'm, I'm nowhere near where Wayne is. I mean, as far on the knowledge level, but I'm learning every day. Uh, actually, John, uh, to let you know, I think the last time we spoke, I was working another job. I'm full-time now, so I'm not, 
I'm not even working the job anymore, man. I'm I, I'm going full time with this, so um, I can spend more time uh, learning the business, uh, doing more things with with uh, with the uh, the contacts that we got involved with, kind of being a little bit more freelancing with with the deals that uh, we could possibly make because this business is so creative when it comes to to the business and, and helping people, you know, and, and then, like I said, I, I, I gave you this scenario earlier about this park situation, that, that kind of stuff kind of excites me. It's not so much of making the money, but I just, of course you want to make the money. Don't get me wrong. We're in the business to make money, but also to really help folks, man. And this just, it just kind of compelled me because of what was taking place in this park. And, 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 and like I said, I was just kind of reading it from comments of, of, um, people who have been in the park so it, it kind of intrigued me so that, that that's 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 where i'm at right now you're doing this full time now i'd like to hop on just me and you or all three of us but do like an accountability like we, we talk whenever but you know ha like one accountability call per week either all through all three of us or just you and me because if you're doing this full time you know just i think that's uh absolutely a good idea oh, i would love that absolutely <laughs> Uh, was there, Wayne Jr., you mentioned about educating yourself for so long, months, mm -hmm. a couple months, three, four, five, six months, which, like, that's, I mean, to me, that's needed, or, you know, go slower in the beginning to then go faster once you, once you know more about this business or when you're ready to pounce. Don't just mm -hmm. dive into something that you didn't know 100%. Was there a moment? Was there one or two moments in your business that made something click or that made a, a big change in um for you? You know, I'm very I'm very strategic on how I make moves. So I would say that moment that really clicked was when um it was actually before. <laughs> It was before I even knew about mobile homes. It was actually during the time that um, uh, my pops and I, we went to that seminar that he called me and told me to come to with him. Um, it was something that, that one of the people at that seminar said, and they were like, don't be cheap. Like, you know, don't be cheap when it comes to investing in stuff. Like, invest in the business. Invest in yourself. So once I actually found you and I found out about mobile homes and stuff, it immediately clicked that I was like, you know what? My failing point has been the fact that I haven't put in the money to have a mentor to walk me through these things, to help me troubleshoot and things like that. That's really like what clicked for me because I even, I even told Pops and, and my brother, I'm like, we're not going to do this unless we have a mentor, <laughs> unless Absolutely. we have John on our team, we're not going to do this. So that was really like that moment that like clicked for me. And then when I did my first deal, which was a consignment, um, having you to where I can just like, oh, man, I don't, I don't know what paperwork to sign. I don't know where to sign. I don't know what this means. And having you and being able to call you and get answers, that's when it really clicked of like, okay, we've definitely made the right decision on how we are launching our business. Like we're not doing this alone. We're not doing this uh, just through troubleshooting. We actually have someone that's experienced. Um, I think that was like the biggest thing that really like clicked for me. Do you both see mobile homes as like a stepping stone to something else or is mobile homes something for the long term for you both lifers? I see uh, something long term for me, most definitely. Like this is um, like a, this is like an entry. This is, I remember reading a passage in Forbes, and they were saying like, you know, mobile homes is one of the last entry points into the American real estate market. Um, and I'm like, I definitely agree with that because there's a lot of homes that are just being priced out in popular areas, and there's a lot of people being displaced. And I don't see that stopping. So I can see that this is a service I can continuously provide for a very long time. Plus two, you know, mobile homes in my era was always, you know, you were, you, you lived in a, a, a dysfunctional environment or you, 
you know, you you and it was it wasn't the it was like the 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 end of the the crop, so to speak. But uh, I don't feel that way, man. I mean, getting into this business, um, there's so much to entangle, and yet uh, you 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 have so many different parks in this in this, it, just in our in our metropolitan area alone. And I imagine how many in the state itself <laughs> that we kind of. Uh, monopolize both cities to where we can put our resources together. And, you know, we, we've been out doing exactly what you have taught us to do and it's paid off. That's where we got our deals. That's for me. That's where I got it. That's where, that's where it's been working. I just, um, I just, I'm in the process of purchasing a home now, not too far from where I live. So, uh, and we, we definitely, I, I will say this. I know you asked us in the beginning, about the managers, but we've been fortunate so far. Uh, the parts that we have contacted the managers, they've been extremely investor friendly. We've caught some that are doing total revamps of the of their parks, which has helped us tremendously in the fix and flip scenario. Um, and, and we're learning that process. We've gone through some some hoops with that, but it's good because we we know what to look for now. We we've gone through certain things, and we know how to how to walk that line and and go that route. So uh, it's been exciting. Um, and actually, to answer your question, for me now, yeah, it's definitely long term. I'm hoping to, John. My my dream is hoping to go international with it. <clears throat> international yeah what's your idea there not sure yet just uh i have some i have some some colleagues that i deal with in ghana wow. and uh i've been talking about you know manufacturing homes and and um they were interested so you know uh honestly i plan on going there in august so I'm 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 looking to to just like you said like I was saying it's so creative that you can be extremely creative. I mean it's it it, it it's risk taking, but um, you know I'm just I'm a hey man. It, I think sky's the limit with this business. If if you're you know with with the knowledge and information that you can obtain and and the structures that you taught us because you 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 taught us one valuable lesson through everything that we do and that's learn how to structure the deal you can do that you can be creative man it's just learning how to structure the deal and doing it properly that's the key so that's where i'm at right now i'm just learning wayne wayne knows a little bit more about it than i do uh, but i'm learning how to structure deals i'm learning how to find people's needs uh, and li like you tell us in a lot of the, the modules that, you know, every deal is, you know, you can't, you can't fix everything. You can't do that. But, you know, we, we put ourselves out there to say, hey, you know, uh, if we can't help you on this end. Here's our number, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And it, it, I will give you a quick story. I don't want to stay too long with it. But uh, we met a manager who we we, we helped uh, move a, 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 a manufactured home off of her lot, which has uh in in, in uh, entangled our relationship tremendously yeah. just by that move just by doing that one thing um and 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 Wayne being immediate on it she was very happy about it and they want to do business so you know <laughs> was that the first deal further down south or was that the uh, one? no that was the um, that was a consignment deal in Victoria this was a deal in so you're moving all over the place. Yeah, man, we're, we're, we we got to, we, you know, with, and I think the beauty of it is, is because we're doing it together. He can cover that area. I cover this area up here. I go down there and we help, I help out, you know, and now that I have more free time on my hands, um, you know, I can, hey man, I can move around and, and do what I need to do to, to really try to um, enhance our business. You both want the long-term cash flow. And I know we've talked about that and you have some cool strategies on how to fill up those places. Um, but when you get started, you typically need to 
flip or wholesale uh, mm -hmm. properties to build up cash reserve to then get into those long buy and hold properties. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure where my question was going besides just stating that fact. Uh, can we talk about some of those? Yeah, can we talk about that? Can we talk? How do you know when you're going into these deals, this is going to be a fast turn property, or I'm going to buy and hold this one long term? Because I know you've had you you wrestled with that. Yeah, um, I think the the main thing that I've been figuring out is um, condition. Looking at the condition of the home, looking at the amount of repairs that's actually needed, um, and then just like you know thinking to myself as well, like, hey, if I just painted this and put carpet down, would I live here? And if that answer is like either mm, maybe or no, then it's a no. Then it, we're just going to flip it. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, so far, um, so the first deal that we like invested money into, uh, um, it was, I mean, it smelled like 12 years of, <laughs> marinated dog urine in there like uh, i didn't know yeah. i didn't know it was, it was vinyl bad. flooring i didn't know it was vinyl flooring because it was that much fur on the ground um and trash on the ground i didn't even know it was underneath um but we i cleaned it up real well i used some enzyme um like pet enzyme stuff to really remove the odor out of the uh the floor got it cleaned up enough and then started showing it um but it was like yeah we we would have had to put some a couple thousand in plumbing we would have had to redo the floors you know we had to get a new refrigerator because that was um yeah oh god i don't know when you were yeah. showing it were you, were, were you embarrassed at all because nah. oh okay okay all right nope. no embarrassment just said because I, I, I was giving people heads up anyway like um being extremely transparent it's like, hey, man, like, you know, this, there was a dog owner here. They did not take care of the floors. I'm still in the process of, like, removing, doing treatments on the floor to remove the smell. Um, and I just told him, like, hey, this, it is how it is. It's definitely something for you to work on and fix up. And that's why I'm selling at, at such a low price. Uh, how did you determine the price and that it was low? Um, I did an analysis on what other people were selling similar square footage bedrooms and year of the home. It was a 1997, um, three bedroom, two bath, 1,950 square, no, 1,150 square foot double wide. So I went on Facebook marketplace. I spent a few hours just scrolling through, seeing what people were offering. And I would write those numbers down. Then I would go on Craigslist look for the same thing, write those numbers down. Then I would go on uh, MH Village, look for the same thing, write them down, add up all the numbers and then divide it and then get an average cost, um, which was around $42,000. We wound up selling it for 30 though. Uh, do you have anybody, like do you have people talking down to you? Do you have people that were, how were people's reactions? I mean, this was your first time selling something like that or at least at that price. Yeah. 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 So, um, most of the people, so the, the community, that community is, um, is 95% Hispanic. So most of the people that came in there were, um, Hispanic folks. And, um, I definitely set the precedent of like, you will have to put some work in here. So when they were coming in, the first reaction I got from every person, whether they wanted it or not was like, wow, this is big. Oh, hey. Nice. Okay. That was the first reaction. <laughs> and then I think that really, like, I didn't think they really were expecting it to be so big and wide open. Um, and then as they would go through, there was like um, some water stains that looked like mold, even though it wasn't mold that I couldn't scrub out the walls and stuff. And they're like, what's that? I'm like, it's not mold. It's water stains that just I, you got to paint over. Um, they looked through it and like, I think because I set the precedent of like, this is a house for potential work, you will need to work on it. Um, and then I kind of 
I, I like to go be very detailed in the advertisement as far as like what's needed. I don't just say plumbing is needed. I'm like, there's plumbing that's going to be needed on the main water supply. There's also knobs that's going to be needed and da, 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 da. I go into detail. That way, when they get there, they're just like, oh, this isn't, this isn't as much as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> um, but yeah, the reaction for most of the people were just like, okay, yeah, this is, this is nice. This is doable. There's some folks that like walked in and was like, oh. Um, I'll, I'll be in contact with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I'm interested for sure. I'll, I'll call you next week. <laughs> uh, I mean, we only got to sell to one person and clearly you got the cookie that Absolutely. they want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And they, yeah. They've all been in good in good locations. Was there ever a time you wanted to quit, or you get shiny object syndrome, or maybe there'd be something else that was better, easier? Or? Absolutely not. Oh. <laughs> this is the easiest uh, investing I've done, like from general contracting to stocks to every all these different things. These different entrepreneurial things I've done. I've quit or I've ceased activities within like six to seven months. This every day, I wake up thinking about this and thinking about how I can improve it. Um, yeah, there's there's never been a moment so far that it's been like, I don't what, know about this. What drives yeah. you? Is it the money or is it the, actually the, the people that you can see in your mind or like? Yeah. Bob, you want to answer that first? Yeah, I, I'll tell you that... Uh, with with i i think for me it's easy because we're both i talk to him every day me and wayne talk every day i'm and i'm like him and my whole mentality has changed john you know i ride by i'm on the road i see something i pull over so my mentality has totally changed i'm thinking deal i'm thinking yeah. let me go check it out you know let me see what's going on yeah money is a motivating factor but as you get into it, uh, I think it's building the relationships that has been, and, and it's just been in a short period of time for me. Uh, I have, I've been ex extremely fortunate to have good relationships with managers of these parks that we we're dealing on. And they, and they specifically say to me that we would like to, you know, continue to do long-term business with you. So they give me leads. They, you know, th the very things that you said in the modules, that if you're doing what you're doing, that this is the response that you will get. And that's exactly what it is. Now, I will say I've had some that uh, wasn't so friendly, wasn't. So, and that's fine. You know, I'm not I'm not turned off by that, you know, especially private, especially private owners who want to sell their properties. You know, yeah. that doesn't stop the show, yeah. you know, <laughs> so, so it it, it, it's 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 it's. You know, we, we're 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 going through the phases, and at this point right now, I'm sure we're going to continue to experience different situations, different um, um, scenarios involved in this business. But I will say this: that, like Wayne said in the beginning, it's much much easier when you have yourself um, to to call that you're then you always make yourself accessible for us so that makes this business a whole lot easier even though you go through all the grimy stuff you know it just it's just good to know that you have someone to say hey john you know man i i got blah 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 and you're like yay on this or no so <laughs> that that just really helps it for me and and then like i said wayne and i you know we're always we're always uh I'm the I'm the visionary man, so I'm always coming up with 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 ideas. Bro. So I think that keeps him going, you know, with, with especially what he does in his in in, what, in his industry. You know, he kind of it kind of um, creates certain things for him as well. But now, like I said, that that I'm going full throttle with it. Uh, I think it's going to energize both of us even more because I'm. You know, I'm going to be a, a down there a lot more than I was before. So um, mm -hmm. I, we kind of look forward to challenges because it teaches us the strategy of different strategies. You know, the tap, the, the more the challenges and, and you overcome challenges, the better your mm -hmm. strategies are on each deal. Absolutely. And 
you know, for me, it's like it's nice seeing that it's possible to make these amounts of money in a very short amount of time. Like I can make my year salary yes. on my job in three weeks. Like that's very yes. nice to know. But I think the biggest thing for me is the fact that it works. You know what I mean? Like that's what really keeps me motivated. And and it can and it has consi- so far it's been very consistent on it working from us taking the time to study, become knowledgeable. And then once we have enough knowledge to where we're we're sitting here talking about things, we're like, oh, okay, let's take action. Let's put some action behind it. And it works. And it's very consistent. And that's something that has been difficult for me to find in my other endeavors, something that's like, you know, very consistent. And that that's that's really a big motivating factor for me. What a huge point that this is not a uh I don't know, some kind of like quick gimmick or some kind of like yeah hobby some kind of game i'm giving to you this is like if if i dropped you both off in the middle of nowhere in the country you'd be able to we you know no money or something you'd you'd have this skill Mm -hmm. that you could do to create a future for yourselves family man that's really oh that that's that's what's happening to me man i mean at this point i don't have i'm not not saying i don't have a choice but I, i do have a choice but you know, it, it it's like I said, it's hopefully, I, you know, I can get it to where I'm doing enough to where we're generating enough to where Wayne can say, hey, you know what, Pops, I'm done with this job, man. I'm We're doing very well here. Let's get him in full throttle. I mean, my case, it wasn't it, it was it was by choice, but it wasn't by choice. You know, his it can definitely be by choice. And I'm sure we've talked to you on some ventures that we're trying to do as well. So we're hoping that 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 one particular venture really jumps off. That would kind of set the precedent for for Wayne to make a decision to say, hey, you know what? I'm going with this full time. I can can really (laughs) expand on this right here. So it's it's exciting and it's scary at the same time, John. For me, you know, I'm I'm a 60 year old man, you know, I'll, I ain't got no retirement, man. You know, this is, this is it. (laughs) So it's scary, but at the same time, it's exciting because it's something I've never done before. There's something I've never really tried to pursue before. And then seeing the results that we have, and I don't mind putting in the work as long as I, I have the tools to be able to do it. Oh man, let's, let's go. Let's go. You chose (laughs) the right business. I mean, at that sound, I've been doing this too long and seen too many people make this happen. We're not geniuses. We're determined. We're persistent. We might be the opposite of geniuses. We're like too dumb just to give up and we keep helping people. And with yeah. with real estate, you were saying before, Wayne, when we first started talking, you were saying how creative you can be in this business. And mm-hmm. I I really think that's the case, partly because there's there's more motivated people with mobile homes than single family homes. Mm -hmm. And there's homes with land, there's homes that have to be moved, there's homes in parks, there's the park managers, and you have all these people that are motivated and they don't might have not have huge savings and like savings accounts, and Mm -hmm. they have to. So there's just more opportunity to help people. There's more like, like if there were house people in houses that were this motivated, maybe they were in the 70s and 80s or like, but now that's there's more real estate investors or there's more options for house people, but for mobile home folks, there's less. Mm -hmm. And so you, you, you can be creative. And for you two genuinely wanting to learn this business, I can hear it. I think everybody listening can hear how obsessed you both are, which is a good (laughs) thing. I mean, you have to be, if if you're going to do any kind of hobby or like something that you're good at, you got to be obsessed with it. And it's, Absolutely. you know, mobile homes are weird and crazy, but it sounds weird to be obsessed with mobile homes, but we got to, and to be. And to John, we, we're, you know, the more we get into it, we see that we're, we, we're, we're, we're freelanced. We, we really don't have a lot of restrictions to do this business. Yeah. You know, I mean, compared to the, the, the housing industry, you know, it's, I mean, you know, we, we could be the bank. 
once we, I mean, we, we, we can we can be the title holder. I mean, we can be the title company. We we have a lot of advantages in this business that you know once we get involved and once we we start making deals and start helping people and people start coming our way, you know, you 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 feel empowered in a whole different scenario than you would just saying, okay, you know, I'm a realtor, I sold a home, I'm you know, blah 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 blah. Different, whole different, different uh, 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 set of rules here. Yeah, and to to that point, pops. Like, uh, for example, our first our first like deal that we did that wasn't a consignment. Like, you know, um, we were able to set an option of like, okay, if you buy it for cash, we're gonna we're gonna put it at a lower price. If you finance it, we're gonna put it at a little bit higher price. We were, um, I was able to to really like negotiate with this guy and really, you know be mindful of his situation and, you know, that he was going through as far as like how much he was able to put down. We were originally asking for 20,000 down. He was only able to put up uh, 17,000 down. We're like, okay, that's fine. We're just going to go ahead and increase your monthly amount. Then we ran into some issues with, uh, with the park on their part, as far as some of the information they are giving us about lot rent and things like that. And due to that, we were able to then adjust the amount he was giving us and then that a little bit of adjustment can go towards the increase for the lot rent um and really just like work things out be very like flexible in our abilities to finance these deals for folks and just how we can set those kind of deals up and you know that alone the that that tenant that we currently have he's going to be paying for the next year and a half like um, after everything was said and done and everything got troubleshooted, um, he was just like, man, like, you know, I had a bunch of other options that I could have gone with, but I'm I'm very happy I, you know, I went with you because like, you've been treating me like a human being this entire time, essentially, like you've been very mindful of my situation. Um, and yeah, just like being able to do that, it's like, man, wow, we, we really do have a, a very unique position as investors um in mobile in just this mobile home space it was a mobile home but he didn't look at it that way that was his house that was the place he was i mean that was his baby he was paying yeah. on and able to owner finance from you and mm -hmm. forgot first, about that first home that was yeah. his first home he was like man i've been living in apartments my entire life oh shit yeah that's all right wow uh if you could tell yourself like if you got started well, you did get started not that long ago. Mm -hmm. Is there one thing that you wish you would have known quicker or that I could have said quicker or to you both that would have been like, it would have made something click quicker? Um, so I was pretty panicked that first deal, that first consignment deal. Cause okay. like I, I got it under consignment. I never saw the home. I didn't see the home until the day I went down to sell it. <laughs> and I, I was pretty that. I was pretty panicked. Um and something that like I wound up having to tell myself. I was like, okay. Cause I was feeling afraid and I had to like really like sit back and like observe that fear that I was feeling and really see like, you know, what is this fear? Is it actual fear? Is it nervousness? But I had to sit here and really like divide what this fear was because it was like, okay, am I afraid because in a very like primal way, you know what I'm saying? That fear of like that fight or flight fear, like I need to get, I need to get out of here. You know, that, that level of fear, I'm like, I'm not feeling that. So what is this, what is this fear that I'm feeling? And really I had to, I had to define it to myself. Like the fear that I'm feeling is just the fear of the unknown that is why i was feeling afraid and i think yeah that that really helped me navigate through some of the situations i remember i called you with a with a big situation and stuff and i was feeling that fear but it was like okay i'm afraid because i'm entering into an area of unknowns for myself i'm not afraid because it's this is a fight or flight situation um and when that once when that clicked Everything from there has been a lot easier for me. Wow. What a, that's, 
Man, yeah, that's the best. That's the best part of this podcast. <laughs> Wayne Senior, I'm sorry. I think I cut you off. Yeah, that's it's coming through. Uh, oh, it's real, so it, the audio is coming through. Uh, do you turn yeah. it off and turn it on? Sounds like an old bad McDonald's drive-through. <laughs> the the video? No, video is good, but the audio was no good. How's that? I mean, I, that sounds worse worse than ever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Oh, man. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> uh, oh, we reached our limit. Believe it. Okay. Uh, Wayne Senior will be back. Um, Wayne Junior. That was uh really that was like, man, like I think maybe like what makes us more or less money in life isn't the stuff we say yes to. It's not the stuff. It's like the stuff we say no to. I know a bunch of like as you were saying that like being afraid. That stopped me from doing so many things, just, you know, meeting new friends, just going mm -hmm. up and talking to the girl, trying to get a certain job or something like that fear of, yeah, just being uncomfortable. Like it's not dangerous, but it's yeah. scary. And, you know, mm -hmm. that's scary. I was like, I was like misinterpreting. Oh, it's dangerous. But no, mm -hmm. it's uh, when you were saying that, I was like, yeah, so, so true. All right, <laughs> Wayne, I'm going to admit dad back in. All right. See, let's see. <laughs> Wayne Jr., was that one of like, did it finally click? What deal was it where it actually clicked? Like, oh, okay, this is like, I believe this now. Because you're going on faith kind of until you actually. Um, It was the second deal. It was the second deal that really clicked. Um, it was, was from, it? it was from just like, taking taking our time taking those months of like becoming competent in the business you know like one big thing i teach all of my all of my like um my members and my students at my job is like you know we want to we want to reach a level of competence and confidence before we reach a level of comfortability so like <laughs> whoa whoa so, that's i like that yeah. So like, you know, that was something big, like we wanted to become competent in what we were talking about. We want to become competent in the processes of what we need to do. And by becoming competent, we become confident. And after doing that first deal and realizing like, this is not only real, but this is something that, you know, we have the ability to do. We have the people skills to do. We have the business savvy to do. That second deal was like it was just pure confidence. Even though I, I mean, I, I ain't, I, I ain't fully know what I was doing, but I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm confident in my ability to execute based on the knowledge I have. I'm confident in my ability to execute based on the team that I have, and I'm not gonna let the unknown stop me. And that, that, that second deal that we did, I didn't know how to show a house. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know the, like the about the any of the vernacular and the lease agreements i ain't know about the title i ain't know about none of this stuff but shoot those those buyers had no idea because of how i was moving in that so and they got what they wanted i mean they are not like you were pulling the wool over their eyes and you were really working with them and they yeah. were more they wanted what you had maybe more than what you wanted. They were looking for, I mean, you're, you're the authority mm -hmm. and they're looking at you like, you know, trusting you. And yeah, as investors, we can really take advantage of people. I mean, if we wanted to. Yeah. Which is something that you talk about in the model module is about like using this power for good, <laughs> you know? True. Yeah. I mean, we, you know, I mean, so true. This is awesome. Well, uh, anything that you, uh, anything that you'd like to talk about? that we didn't touch on or advice for, for folks or a funny um, story. 
I think I think that fear part is probably the biggest advice I'll give right now. And then also just like starting with uh, competence before trying to be very confident about what you're doing. Start with that competent aspect. Um, you know, something I, I, I tell, I say in all of our investment meetings that we have every Sunday is the fact that, you know, the average business owner is not seeing a return on their investment for the first five to 10 years. Oh, wow. And we've already, you know, surpassed our investment <laughs> that we've already put in. So like, just looking at that being like, you know, take the time, become confident competent in what you're doing and you will see a very fast return on your investment as long as you're serious and focused. Um, but I, I think, um, one thing I can talk about that, you know, uh, pops and I, we've been talking about a lot is, you know, that creative aspect of things like, you know, don't, don't just be stuck in one mindset of like, you know, oh man, I, I have to only do fix and flips. I have to only wholesale these. I have to only do this and stuff like meet people where they're at. And if you're, if you're in the program, if you have John as a mentor, don't be afraid to do something that you've never done before because you have someone there to help you walk through the process as long as you execute, you know what I'm saying? Like, so that that's something that's been very big. I mean, we've had a lot of conversations from consignments to, hey, I want to rent this one out. Hey, I'm not renting it out. How do I do payments? The rent to own option, you know what I'm saying? The, um, you know, and then, you know, the creative finance plan that I have put together for, you know, housing multiple people and, you know, being able to receive a thousand to two thousand a month and um and rent from folks using mobile homes. Um, so like you know, don't, don't be afraid to, to experiment. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot that I, that uh, my pops and I have gotten from John's program and stuff, but, you know, we also have a lot of ideas that don't necessarily go exactly with, you know, some of the things that you're saying, but at the same time, it's important. For, I know for us, it's very important for us to exercise the ideas that we have, because in that we've been able to find niches, we've been able to find certain things um, in these little areas to where now it's like, so far, most of the deals that have happened are coming from one park. And now these other deals that are happening are about to come from two parks. And like my pops was saying, like he goes out and he he forms these relationships with these park managers. He talks to them. He talks to them. He talks to them. You know what I'm saying? He, we, both of us, we show genuine interest in these park managers was something that you talk to us about there in the modules, you know, don't, don't just come in there. It's all business and stuff. It's like, no, I'm going to, I'm going to banter. I'm going to build rapport with you. I'm going to find out stuff like um, the park down here. And I've realized that, man, y'all need some, y'all need some filing cabinets and, uh, and some stuff. There's just paperwork everywhere. So like the next time I go there, I'm going to, I'm going to buy a, I'm going to buy a filing cabinet and I'm going to bring it to them. Like, Hey man, like, I just want to know that, you know, appreciate what you're doing. I appreciate that, you know, the, the partnership that we have, man. And I, I see that you have your paperwork everywhere. So here's a filing cabinet for you or something, you know, like doing little things and like really connecting with the park managers and stuff. And just from like my pops, his relationships that he has up there, like these park managers are like, listen, here's the, here's the tea. You know what I'm saying? Here's the little things that you can do. Okay, we ran into a problem, not a problem. This is something else that we can do. They're very willing to work with us because not only are we very personable with these folks and we're actually like really getting to know them, but we're executors, okay? The deal that um that uh, Pops just closed yesterday <laughs> that they said, we're gonna finalize a house. We didn't have the money to purchase that. So we were just like, okay. The price got knocked down far enough. We're just going to finance it and then sell it a little bit above what we financed it for. Pay off that loan, get some profit, <laughs> increase our credit all at the same time. So finding creative things like that. And if you are if you execute on these things and you show that you're willing to execute on these things, the park managers especially are going to be like, hey, they're calling us before people are even leaving their home. They're like, hey, I probably got four coming up in, in January. Like, just so you know, get your money ready. You know, so that's been very important for us, you know, to just meet people where they're at and, and most importantly, take action. 
and don't have an excuse unless it's a legit excuse to not actually purchase the home. You know what I'm saying? If the numbers look right, do it. <laughs> Wayne, thank you. Thank you both for being here. You both have a long, we all have a long future to go in this. Yes. And 60 is not, what is that? That's the new 40. Wayne Senior, <laughs> that's, you got plenty of time. Yes, it is. <laughs> right. Oh, that's for real. Right. <laughs> <laughs> new, hey, 60 is the new 30, John. I'll take yeah. it back another day. 60 new 30. What was I thinking? All right. <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm 29. He got more energy than me. <laughs> <laughs> Man, keep it up. All right, this was great. Thank you so much again for being here. Congratulations yes. on everything. Seriously, thank you so thank much, you, John.